just a little steam loco that I've got that I've been meaning to get to. Uh, it's a Blue Goose by River Rossi or AHM, I think. I'm going to strip this one down, spray it with some sealer. I'm going to give it some oil washes to make it look real, pop out some detail, and we'll put a bit of a Digitrax decoder in there. Just thought I'll quickly show you guys what it looks like. This is the sort of motor these ones had in them. I'm not too sure how they'll go DCC yet. I'm actually not sure what I've got there. It looks like a closed can, but it also looks like an open can with an external magnet. I don't know, I might remote put a new motor in it. One of the new, more, more modern Buckman motors. I've got a box full of them lying around somewhere. So here's the tender. I've already unscrewed it. It's just got a little bolt pin that goes in there. The, the tender is very, very light. You probably have to add a little bit of weights in there. All right. So what I'm thinking of doing with the tender so this tender is one side pickup. So that wheel, that wheel, uh, let me just, sorry, other way around. That wheel, that wheel, that wheel, that wheel picks up power and it runs with a little quick plug. Actually, it's not a quick plug. It's just got a little spring. Uh, it's got a little metal pin, that the one that I took out to open the shell. That clips into the locomotive, into the actual pulling, pulling hook or whatever it's called, drawbar and it runs power from here forward so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to swap these around so i got those two picking up and those two picking up and in the center i'm going to put a brass rod and just do one that side one that side and i think that'll be plenty of pickup power for the loco obviously the locomotive still has its own pickups on the actual ten uh, on the actual drivers of the locomotive itself Right, I'm going to unscrew this one quickly and just show you guys what she looks like. Okay, I think she's got a screw right there. I don't know if you guys can see that too well on the lighting. I think she's got a screw right there. Try and undo that one quickly. They were great locomotives. Right, DC runners. Uh, it's still a great locomotive, but um, I want to try and get this one so I can actually run it. I don't run DC. The clubs don't run DC, so I... The plan with this loco is redo the loco, and I've got four or five streamlined coaches, which I'm going to repaint and put some lights in, and we'll put an anti-flicker. I'll show you guys how I make anti-flicker um, with LED drivers little cheap kits it's like four dollars guys these ridiculous things about guys buying things for twenty dollars or thirty dollars for one coach for lighting and pickups and uh, it becomes hundred dollars a coach that's to me that's ridiculous that's for lack of a better word that's taking the piss all right so once those three screws are out this shoot just lift off shoot <laughs> Maybe something's catching. Ah, uh, I know what it is. It's the actual little little rails like on the back. All right, so got that one out, and steady as she goes. Uh, steady as she goes. Yes. Right, so the little motor I think we can use, it is a closed can motor. I'll have to test it and see what the, what the motor is like. I'll just quickly give you a panoramic view of what we got going on here. Beautiful. Alright, next one will be, I don't know, <laughs> I'll see what, what, what comes up next. I just hooked up the motor to a little DC power pack and um, that's the little drawbar I was talking about it's got a little spring in it just to make make sure it makes contact with the tender um, I'm just doing daisy chaining it up to the frame um, I've got a bit of a I don't know if it's a bind or if it's a, ge a dry gear or something is happening here where that wheel just keep constantly wants to pop up I don't know if you can see it well on the camera um, the shaft itself doesn't look too balanced 
she might just need to run a bit, but there's definitely something happening in that wheel. And I'll have a I'll have a look at that first. If there's something really sinister going on there, I might abandon this project for a later time. Um, this stuff looks like drama to me at the moment, and I don't want to spend all that time building up the loco only to find that it's not going to run because it's got a bent axle or something along those lines. Um, a coiliness coming out of here, which is a bit weird, I think, out of there. I think they must have over it at some point or something. Again, that creates problems when you have your loco sitting, as I've mentioned in previous videos. Okay, I've got the whole locomotive disassembled. Well, a good idea would be to take some photos to make sure you know where what screws goes in where. I've got the shell split apart as well. Now, next step will be washing this with a bit of soap and water, letting it dry, then sealing it and giving it an oil wash, and we'll take it from there. I've removed the counterweight. It's only got a little weight that sits about yeah it's that one there that's the only weight in the whole locomotive so it's actually a bit light i might put in a bit more weight to try and fix that issue uh, sorry for the panoramic freehand camera i just quickly wanted to show you guys 